In this video, we're going to be using Zingari Man, the Healers, and the Harry's Razor for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today, we're just going to do a shave and chat. I'm using Zingari Man, the Healers, which is a beautiful soap. Uh, this one was a special edition run. I hope she'll bring it back in 2021. She, she did the Healers and the Essentials both excellent, excellent scents, and I hope she'll bring it back. So if you want to see these, don't be afraid to hit Heather up and say, hey, you're going to bring those back this year because they're great. Um, this, I really like that they put the notes on there. Citrus, pineapple, cucumber, excellent scent. Again, not available right now, but I hope she'll bring it back. Beautiful citrus scent. I really like it a lot. This is a high quality soap. Zingari is a, is a fantastic artisan, uh, Heather at Zingari, I should say. And this is just a wonderful soap. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of giving you all the ingredients and all that, because it's not available. And this is just a shave and chat. We're just gonna shave and chat. I'm gonna use the Harry's razor um, for a dome shave. And I know, I know people shriek and run from the room when you mention a car, but listen, as I always say, use what's best for you. And today I'm just gonna relax and has, have a very easy going kind of head shave. I am gonna use the cube here first, not that I need it, but I'm trying to use it up and I am slowly working through it. So we'll get a little bit of pre-shave on here. And again, we're just trying to use this up. It's not needed, but it certainly doesn't hurt. And uh, arguably it helps. I mean, it just depends on you. Some people just think they're entirely unnecessary. For me, I know it doesn't hurt. So it is not at all a problem uh, in my view. And let's get to lathering. We're using the, what is this, the Solar Flare? I believe this is the PAA Solar Flare. This was sent to me by my buddy Oive. Thank you, Oive. I bought some razors from him and he sent me a bunch of extra stuff with it as he is prone to do. And uh, we're just going to enjoy this shave today and just hopefully enjoy you as well, or hope you enjoy it, I should say, because you're not actually here with me, but uh, when you're watching, I hope you're, you'll share your comments um, below. Sometimes I just like to use a cart and for me that's an autopilot head shape, meaning I don't really have to focus as much as I do when I use a, a DE or the leaf or or anything. It's just absolutely autopilot and it works well. Um, I know some people in the traditional community don't like cart razors. That's okay. But if you're one of those folks that's new to head shaving and you're using carts, that's okay. If you're a long time shaver and you're using carts, that's okay. If you're using carts on your face, your legs, that's okay. It's entirely up to you what razor, brush you use. The key is enjoying the shave. And for me, in, uh, shaving in a traditional style, that is progressive beard or hair reduction, using a good soap, taking your time, enjoying the process and enjoying the, like this scent is just killer. I love it. And again, I hope Heather will bring this back in 2021 um, because I bought both and I am very happy uh, with both. I think they're excellent. So let's get started today and just have a wonderful head shave. The razor here is the Harry's razor, which is highly available. It's available on Amazon. And of course they have the mail um, subscription type service. I remember years ago, it's probably been about three years ago now, I used the Harry's on a video and uh, they contacted me and said the Harry's razor was not designed for head shaving. And I was, I, you know, I let them know like, hey, I, you know, I'm a bit of a shaving enthusiast. So, uh, <laughs> you know, thanks for letting me know, but uh, the Harry's works great for head shaving. I know it's not designed for that purpose, they weren't telling me not to use it. They were just letting me know that uh, it was not designed for that purpose. And at the time I thought they were going to maybe come out with a product for head shaving specifically, but it's been a couple of years now and I've never heard anything. So I don't know if Harry's intends to get, in, to get into the sort of head shaving market with some sort of device that's maybe supposed to be meant for head shaving. But I'll tell you, I've shaved a lot with the, just the regular Harry's razor here. And uh, for me, it's been a very good head shaving razor. So I know they say it's not designed for that purpose and that's okay. 
you know, I, um, they're, they're certainly entitled to, <laughs> you know, reach out and let folks know what, what its intended purpose is, but uh, I think it works fine as a head shaving razor and I rather enjoy using it. And uh, the blades are certainly far less expensive than the, you know, like your Gillette razors that you buy in a supermarket or drugstore or big box store. So, you know, I've enjoyed using it for many years now. And it's one of those things where, again, for me, when I use the, uh, the Harry's razor, it's just an autopilot shave. And boy, this soap just works magnificently. It really is a good soap. And I would say, uh, generally, Zingari Man, if you haven't tried their soaps, give them a try. The last couple of scents I tried were not, like the Watchmen and the Duo were not to my liking, honestly. But you're not going to love every scent. But this one right here, the Healers, is a winner. So I'm hopeful that in 2021 that Heather will bring this back and allow people to get another crack at it because I enjoy it when you buy a product that I have used and you tell me you love it. I'm like, great, you know, awesome, you know. That's a good feeling. So Heather, if you happen to watch this, and I know not all artisans um, watch these videos because, you know, they're busy and have busy lives, but... Uh, if you happen to catch this, I hope you'll consider bringing this back this year for another run to give people another crack at it. And I'm not crazy about special edition soaps, but uh, this one was uh, part of the proceeds went to charity. So I think once in a while doing that, I don't mind it because, you know, it's special purpose. And so I think that's uh, actually not bad at all. But the constant special editions, like when people just do it constantly and and they're limited and people can't get their hands on them, that I don't care as much for. Because as I say so often, I'm more of a big tent type of person. I want more people to come into this hobby. And the less that you all poo-poo these razors like this, the better off we will be. Because not everybody starts off with a straight razor or a double-edged razor or a single-edged razor. Sometimes they start out using their cart and a soap and a brush like this. And they just sort of take baby steps. And that is entirely okay. We should be welcoming people as much as we possibly can. That's why I'm a big fan of what supply does because they're reaching outside our niche little market and bringing people in. That's why I'm very excited about what Leaf does with their marketing power. They're getting beyond our little niche aspect of our hobby. And that brings more people in. Um, and I think for me, very positive thing. Okay, first pass, outstanding. I was just on the phone a little bit ago with the inspector and he actually <laughs> inspired me to do this head shave because I was like, you know what? I haven't done a head shave on, on video for a week or so. So I said, I think I'm gonna use the Harry's and just enjoy a head shave. And we were talking about uh, the healers and the essentials. And so he, he inspired this shave. So thank you, inspector. And if you haven't checked out his uh, channel, it is, uh, I believe it's the Inspector's Den, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I apologize, Inspector. I'll link it below, of course. And a shave like this, which is autopilot, and I haven't had to go grab the ingredients and grab the <laughs> every detail of the cost of soap, just makes it enjoyable. You can just sort of record the video, enjoy the wonderful scent, enjoy the wonderful soap, and just have a nice chat, which I just like to do sometimes. I, I do like to give you the information, but I typically do that when it's a soap that's available, and this one, as of this moment, just is not. But again, we'll remain hopeful that perhaps she'll bring it back, because I think, uh, I know a lot of people missed out last year, and I'm pretty sure that uh, these are soaps, scent-wise, with the essentials being the other, that's really nice that people would very much enjoy, or at least I do. So it certainly has my stamp of approval, and quality-wise, very, very good soap. And so, uh, I, you can certainly buy from Zingari Man. A lot of times we shorten that name to Zingari, but um, you can certainly buy with confidence. Let's put it that way. And this is really uh, autopilot because, you know, I just pull down my ear and I'm so comfortable going around it with this razor. It just makes it easy, mindless. 
Whereas when I have a DE, I have to be lots more careful. And uh, sometimes that's not as enjoyable when you just wanna relax and not have ultra focus. And sometimes these razors do that. I don't use them that often on my face you know, because let's be honest, over the last year, you've seen almost <laughs> every one of my face shaving videos for the last year straight, practically. So you're seeing what I'm using on a daily basis. Um, I don't know when exactly I started back into daily shaving videos again, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, February or March. So maybe by the time March rolls around, you will have seen every shave, head shave, or excuse me, every face shave that I did for the entire year. Because last year, um, I think beginning in February or March, whenever the Rona kicked in, I started doing daily videos again, every single day. And so you've seen basically every face shave that I did for almost a year straight. I definitely had uh, a video um, from February of last year or March. I'll have to look, uh, you know, I had at least one video a day for that entire period every single day. So we did a lot of work. <laughs> we did a lot of work in the hobby last year. A lot of ag advocacy, had a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoy it, that's the main thing. And a shave like this where you can just chat and just sort of mindlessly shave, um, it's fun and it's very relaxing. And you're just sort of removing that cream and removing those. Well, on the head, we don't call them whiskers. I don't know what you would call it, hair. <laughs> Whatever's left anyway. Because my hair, when it grows back, it's way back here. So there's some right here, and there's some on the sides and some on the back. There's a big bald spot entirely back here, which is why I started shaving the dome to begin with. Gents, you can either let nature decide for you, and it will um, for a lot of us. You might be one of those that's blessed with having hair all your life, and that's great. But if you're like a significant portion of us, you will start to grow thin. And, you know, for me, I didn't want to... I've said this many times when we talk about head shaving. I didn't want to go around with the Mr. Burns, like off the Simpsons with hair just here and around. And that's that's where I was heading. And that's why I got rid of it. And I do not regret it, not one single day. I know Chris Maiden for no, another cut above, he often talks about wishing he had hair. Uh, in his videos, I do not, not none whatsoever. And I really like shaving. Uh, my head. I like shaving in general. And so for me, being able to shave my head just gives me even more area to shave. And as a hobbyist, isn't that a plus? You know, you love shaving. You get to shave the dome too. I do it every other day. For the first three years, I did it every single day. And I found that doing it every day gives me a even better result. It just feels better. And so I went to every other day. But as a shaving enthusiast, the more you have to shave, the better, right? And so I do not regret losing the hair nor having to shave it. And I rather enjoy it. I enjoy everything about it, to be honest with you. So I'm one of these people that for me, it was the, you know, the best step I ever took. And, and I very much enjoy it. And I enjoy being one of the bald. So by choice. Um, look, nature decided I just got a little ahead of it. So in all reality, I was going to be bald, but I just got ahead of it. There's no question now that if I grew my hair back, it'd be looking pretty rough because it will have retreated way back to here. And I would be definitely getting the Mr. Burns. And like I said, on the back, there's a big circle, like, you know, more than the size of my fist. that's entirely bald back there. So <laughs> it was just a matter of just, Hey, let me decide, let me take control of the situation. So, all right, that was excellent. Let me rinse, then we'll get back into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel. And that was a fantastic head shave. Now, nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. And just really a nice, enjoyable, relaxing shave. Um, the head feels great, level cue ball, completely smooth. Feels fantastic. Zingari Man, the healers. Let's hope that it comes back in 2021. Again, 
feel free to hit up Heather and say, hey, I saw that uh, Zingari Man the Healers on IMCDB. Are you going to bring that back? And hopefully she will, along with the essentials. Both are fantastic. This is definitely an outstanding soap by an outstanding artisan. I enjoyed it very much. We used the PAA Solar Flare. And of course, our trusty Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. Let me wipe my hands and then we'll finish off with an aftershave. And I chose today the Booster uh, Barbershop Classics Ice Lime simply because I didn't want it earlier today. I did a face shave. I don't want the, the uh, scents to clash. And this one really won't hang around. It is a bright lime scent, but it won't hang around. And it smells great, but it'll fade relatively quickly. But while it's there, it's beautiful. And I'm just going to go ahead and just, let's just cover up with it. Why not? <laughs> oh, that feels great. What a magnificent head shape. Thank you, Inspector, for inspiring me to do this head shape. Now I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling great wherever you are. I thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, joy shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.